Hello and welcome to this episode of Product of the Week, but really every two weeks due to budgeting issues as I am a very expensive diva. Thank you, Richard. Oh, what the f is this? That's a sparkling water. In this episode, we will be looking at, thank you, Richard, the Zhao range of microcontroller boards, including the Zhao NRF52840, the Zhao RP2040, the Zhao NRF52840 Sense, and the Seeduino Zhao. Now, there are a lot of products being featured in this video, but the most important thing to note is that all of these things are Zhao boards. Simply put, that means that they all follow the same form factor, using the same connector cables, I think, and this makes them easy to switch around. So suppose one Zhao board doesn't have that special something for your project? Well, no worries, a different Zhao board might. By far, the most awesome feature of the Zhao range is that all the boards have the same shape, profile, and pinout. This means that switching between different boards is extremely easy, and there is no need to redesign the host circuit. Try doing that with any other microcontroller board, and yes, I know you're going to say... Oh, but the Arduino Nano form factor does that. Yeah, yeah, yes, but when was the last time you used an Arduino Nano with an RF52 core, an ARM SAM D21, or an RP2040? Another great feature of the Xiao range is that they are all supported by the Arduino platform, meaning that coding them is a breeze. There's no need for complex IDEs, dedicated software libraries, or sleepless nights of trying to figure out how to use the hardware. The Arduino standard libraries bring a level of simplicity that cannot be matched. These boards also support the CircuitPython and MicroPython platforms, which also simplifies projects. With regards to power, these boards can be powered from either their type USB-C connector or from an external 5 volt input. As all of these boards have the same 5 volt input, boards can be swapped around without needing to change the power circuit feeding the board. Finally, the 3.3 volt source is generated on the board, so there is no need for an external 3.3 volt regulator. So before jumping into the specs of individual boards, let's start with the features that they all share in common. To start, they all have an ultra small form factor of 21 by 17.5 millimeters, making them suitable for wearable projects, such as a watch. These boards also use a USB-C connector, meaning that you can completely forget about the laws of USB superposition, where it always takes three attempts to get it to work. The pinout for each board is also identical, so you only ever need one pinout diagram stuck to your wall. Now the first board, the Zhao SAMD21, integrates the SAMD21 G18 microcontroller, which has a 48 megahertz processor, 32 kilobytes of static RAM, and 256 kilobytes of flash. The second board, the Zhao NRF52840 Sense, as the name suggests, integrates an NRF52840 microcontroller, which has Bluetooth 5.0 capabilities, tiny ML, and TensorFlow light support, Great for making stuff intelligent, certainly more than the cameraman Luke in the background who just spends most of his day needlessly staring at the camera screen. This board also incorporates battery management, a digital microphone, and a six axis IMU. The third board, the Zhao RP2040, integrates the all famous Raspberry Pi RP2040 microcontroller. This microcontroller integrates a dual core, 133 megahertz ARM core, 264 kilobytes of static RAM, and two megabytes of onboard flash memory. This board has no pin headers soldered onto it, which makes it great for production, as these boards can be directly soldered onto a PCB. The fourth and final board is the Zhao NRF52840. Now, this may seem similar to the other board, but this one doesn't incorporate any additional sensors. Just like the other Zhao boards, this doesn't come with pre-soldered headers, so it can be used with both SMD PCBs and breadboards. The small form factor of these boards makes the Zhao range perfect for any application where space or weight is a virtue. 
One such application would be wearable devices, and this would especially apply to the NRF 52840 Sense Zhao board. The onboard IMU and microphone combined with the battery management allows for a wearable device to charge an external battery, listen to commands, and connect to devices wirelessly via Bluetooth. Another potential application is remote control devices, such as a drone, a plane, a car, or platform of destruction with twin cannons, proximity sensors, and explosive reactive armor. Well, maybe not the last one, but hey, you never know. The RP2040 is particularly good in these applications thanks to the ease of programming, low cost, and dual core capabilities. Finally, any project that just wants to reduce the size of its Arduino board can massively benefit from these Zhao boards. Arduinos are fun, but many are rather large, and this isn't always great, especially if a project needs to be shrunk in size for neatness. Of course, the Zhao board has a lot fewer GPIO connectors, but this is a worthwhile sacrifice. The Zhao range of boards are excellent for both makers and professionals alike, thanks to their compatibility with the Arduino programming environment and MicroPython, their compatibility with SMD technologies, and their use of commercial grade processors, such as the SAMD 21G18 and the NRF52840. The variety of Zhao boards provides a massive amount of flexibility, while their use of a USB-C connector makes them extremely user-friendly. The support for numerous sensors, machine learning, and applications also makes the Zhao boards an absolute necessity in any engineer's arsenal. So, if you are looking to get your hands on a few Zhao boards and want to support my unhealthy habit of fast food and non-stop K-dramas, looking at the glory and extraordinary Attorney Wu, then head over to the Electromaker store where you can find all the Zhao boards mentioned in this episode, along with all the other parts you could ever need for your ridiculous projects. Thanks for watching, and as the great Scott YouTuber says, I will see you next time.